The Pastoral 21 programme, this phase of it started in 2011. It's a huge programme, quite a number of different aims and objectives, multiple organisations involved in it. The task that the investors set us was to reduce nitrogen and phosphorus losses by around 30%, but obviously we also need to keep those dairy systems profitable and sustainable. We needed a collaborative team with multiple expertise, farm systems, animal management, pasture management, environment scientists. We also relied heavily on a, a local farm advisory group. We did some pre-experimental modelling. Now we had to design systems that were adoptable. We had to understand not only what you know, reductions were being achieved in nutrient losses, but also why they were being achieved. And we also had to identify the key messages coming out of that and work with extension specialists so that those principles that we determined from our science could then be rolled out to the industry. We were in a fortunate position because of the science base that we'd already got in New Zealand. We had a good understanding of how nutrients and dairy farm systems work and we also have some really good models. We then moved on to our farmlet systems actually doing the work of um, setting up experimental systems, managing cows in systems and uh, testing our hypothesis. We had four farm systems across the country. Setting those farmlets up was quite a challenge not only because uh, we have to manage those systems as a science team, but also we were coming up with a new system. And we also had to take an, a, a number of supporting measurements, first of all prove that they worked, but also understand how the nutrients were flowing and why we achieved the results that we actually achieved. We set up a, a control system, which was a typical one of the region as it is now. And then our future system was designed to be what a, a dairy production system might look like in five years' time. So we're using the grass as efficiently as possible with those cows, turning more of the feed that was going into the cows into milk, and therefore less was excreted and, le and less leached. We overachieved in terms of reducing nutrient losses, 20 to 45% reduction in nitrate leaching. The Waikato farm that over four seasons on average, I think it was about 45% reduction in nitrate leaching. 